Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So it's Saturday morning here and I got my heaters going. They've been running for about an hour and we are sitting at 64 degrees. So uh, plenty warm to get work done in the garage. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tackle a little bit uh, today and uh, make some progress. So in my previous videos, I've talked about the hybrid shifter and what a great piece it is, but I've had some issues with the rattling, the vibration, and that's kind of caused me to uh, want to step away from it. Um, like I said earlier, I had those innovative mounts originally and the vibration was just too much for me. It, I felt like it just rattled the car apart and I went back to the stock ones. The hybrid shifter, even though it's a great piece, I am getting a little bit of a hum and a vibration on D cell and in the upper RPMs and it, it kind of just irritates me and annoys me. I've talked to hybrid, they say it's normal, but um, I've also talked to some other people on YouTube and Instagram and they say they are not getting it. Some people say they are getting it. So it seems like it's hit or miss. I'm gonna go under there and just see if, make sure I have everything tight. I don't know if there's like a washer or a rubber bushing I can install to help alleviate that. If that's the case, then maybe I'll think twice if I wanna get rid of it. I do have someone on Instagram who is willing to buy it off of me and uh, I'm cool with that. So I'm gonna hop under the car, I'm gonna check it out, see what I find and if uh, everything's tight and I can't see anything that would cause a rattle, I'm just gonna take it out and put the stock unit back in and move on from there. So I'm gonna take care of that and get back to you. All right, so I'm under the car and here's the shifter. I thought maybe this bushing, the spacer that you have to run um, would be loose and would be able to spin and maybe that's what was giving me the vibration, but it's it's on there tight and um, this has been torqued down quite a bit. So I'm not sure, I, I assume it's coming from the, the metal ball up there where where it pivots at so you know it is what it is it's a great shifter i'm sure people have a way higher tolerance than i do for the vibration it seems that way with people i've talked to about uh motor mounts and such um everyone has a different opinion and, and what they'll tolerate so anyways it is a great shifter it, it's it's phenomenal but i'm gonna move on and just put the stock one back in and and um go from there. So I'm going to take this out and uh, get the stock one back in. All right, so here's that wonderful hybrid short shifter. Um, what a great piece. Um, I really enjoy it, but the rattle has got to go. So I'm going to take it out and reinstall the stock one. Again, not a bad piece, really well constructed, solid feel, the adjustments that you can do are phenomenal um, but the vibration the vibration and, and hum for me is, is a is a deal breaker so it's got to go not sure if I mentioned this before in a previous video I think I did but uh, a great solution for a pad on a concrete floor or a driveway is, is these uh, yoga mats um, they're super cheap you can get them at anywhere TJ Maxx Ross whatever a um, few bucks and they do really well holding up and they slide easily and they're definitely keeping the uh, cold from coming through the concrete. So better than cardboard and um, fairly priced. So just a, just a little tip. All right, so I got the shifter out and cleaned up. There wasn't much to do on that end. Uh, it's in great condition. I would say it's in brand new condition. So there's not a scratch or a scuff. All the hardware is still clean. So I'm gonna package this up and ship it out. I have already been paid via PayPal from a follower on Instagram, so hopefully it works for him. He should be happy. He's aware of uh, the reason I'm selling it, so I'm gonna get this boxed up and then get the stock one prepped and ready to go. So here's the stock shifter. I pulled it out of storage, and I took a few minutes last night cleaning this up. I pulled the plastic cage out of here and degreased it and soaked it along with the, I think this is a bushing in here. Anyways, there's four O-rings that go on there. So I cleaned them, soaked them. I did not replace any of these parts. They all seem to be in good 
working condition but what I did do is like I said degrease them clean them I inspected them and then re lubed everything with some high temp grease in the cage and down here in those bearings so it should work better than it did before it should work like it did from the factory so I'll get that reassembled and reinstalled and then we'll check it to make sure it's all working perfectly now I need to take the Circuit Hero plate off and replace it with the stock shifter boot. I think what I'll do is just get a CTR shifter boot and call that good, which means this one's going to be for sale. So you can either check my Instagram page or uh, drop me a comment here and we can work something out. Again, this was installed in July and it's in perfect condition so I'll add some more pictures up on my Instagram page and you can check it out if you want so I need to get this out of here and reinstall the stock one so let's get this guy reattached we don't want any of those fumes coming in the car it's pretty simple just kind of covers over this guy Sweet. So we're gonna get that skunk tooth shift knob back on. Um, I've toyed with maybe switching it up. This one's super weighted. I think it comes in at somewhere around 460 grams, which is really, really heavy. The hybrid and the K-Tune ones and some other ones out there, they're in the 160, 170 gram weight. So I'm not sure how that would feel. I've been used to having a heavy one, but maybe worth maybe worth trying. So we'll tighten that up. On the bottom it's a 14. That looks just about straight. And there we go. I've been driving around for 20 or 30 minutes with the stock shifter installed and what I can say right off the bat is that it is noticeably different than the hybrid unit. The hybrid unit definitely has shorter throws. It definitely feels notchier or more connected to the transmission. But with that, I was also getting that vibration that I wasn't fond of so this unit does not feel bad it's just different it works the way it's supposed to I can't complain again I had those innovative mounts early on and that rattle was too much for me and I decided to take them out because of the vibration so I like the way this feels it works well so I'm gonna cut my losses and um, move on, so. All right, so the stock shifter is reinstalled. It's working well. I'm glad I decided to do it. So that brings me to the next project. And what I wanna do is tackle something under the engine bay that should be simple. I um, want to switch out this breather filter along with the Speed Factory filter that's on top of the uh, oil catch cam back here. I want to make them or get them to match the K-tuned one for the air intake. So this has a black plastic top with the red filter material. I know K-tuned sells one for the breather that looks identical to the intake. 
I think the challenge is going to be finding something that fits there. So I will start to research that. Once I get those two pieces, I'm going to then wrinkle coat the canister to have it match the air intake tube and then swap out the clear speed factory supplied lines with just some black ones black rubber and then find some nicer some nicer clamps besides some worm clamps i'm thinking maybe honda might sell a pinch clamp that will look much much nicer so little little things that i want to do but it'll keep me busy and i think it'll actually make it look much better i haven't been a fan of this since the beginning and i've just been waiting to find a solution so i'm gonna wrap this video up here thanks for watching like subscribe and keep your eyes open for the next one thanks